Hey everyone, I thought I would continue with my plant tour because I'm going to have to do this before it gets too cold because I'm going to have to bring these guys in. So, I'm going to do another part of it. I finally, look at this, I finally vacuumed. I vacuumed. Of course, there's probably dirt somewhere. And when I vacuumed, I found a baby lizard. It was a little baby anole. Some someone on Facebook, on my husband's Facebook, they actually took him. It surprised me because we don't live in Florida and we usually don't have lizards running around here. So then when I found one when I was cleaning up my plants, I thought it was pretty cool. He was adorable. I will get the picture from my my husband that my husband sent me and I will put it up here. So you can see the cute little guy. He's really tiny. When I first saw him jump, I thought, what the heck was that? And um, then I put him in a little jar and I'm like, oh, I found a little lizard. I thought it was so cool because he was so cute. And I forget what his name is, Shimpy, Shimpo or something. But uh, this one girl on Facebook came over and got him. Um, and there's a plane. We don't live by the airport, but the planes like fly overhead. So, um, I'm gonna, I, I, my table has changed. The big plant that was there is no longer there. Uh, so some of my things have changed from cleaning and treating and I've been treating all of my plants. What is going on with this guy? Oh gosh. My tetrastigma is kind of groovy. I don't know if he's, I don't know what's going on with him. Um, maybe he doesn't like the colder nights. Um, he's kind of limp here. I don't know what's going on. I might have to bring him in. Um, so, I can't remember where I left off. So, um, there is a philodendron saloon, saloon back there. Gonna put on a new leaf. This used to be a big plant that I chopped up into like a lot of pieces. So I have a lot of these easy growers can't kill. I don't know if I talked about this one before, but if I did just disregard. Now I've got, this is another philodendron I got for free from Glass House Works. I, I will put the name up. I don't remember. It's an odd name. Uh, it starts with an I. And then here's a begonia with an icky leaf. It needs to be replanted because it's growing too big for this pot. But it's putting out a new leaf and that that is a good thing. And then we got Alocasia cerian right here. Um, he's not normally here. I just put him there for the heck of it while I'm transitioning to move plants inside. Now here is a, I don't know if I discussed this one. This is a philodendron or a Monstera borsigiana. Uh, this one is growing in uh, Frappuccino mocha. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to break the glass because he's kind of outgrown the, you know, he's kind of, I need to move him soon because he's not happy. This is a, Hoya pubucalis. I never can say the names of these, but um, this guy I've had a while. Um, he's in he's in a pot that hangs on the wall. Easy to grow. Uh, then we got. This tetrastigma, tetrastigma. I think that's what it's, I think that's how you say it. Did I already go? I probably already went over this. This is a big plant. He's droopy. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's probably mad because it's cold out here. Um, we've got a couple nice in the 40s. It, it's always warmer in here, but um. The temperature has dropped a lot. 
Uh, this is a uh, Anthurium war queen something. I think it's the queen Anthurium. This guy died all the way down to the died all the way to the, the soil and came back. And he's doing really well. He's putting out a leaf. I'm probably going to put him in the grow tent once I clean it out. Um, but I really like him. He's beautiful. Very soft. Um, and then this is a Hoya. Is this a pink princess? Or, um, pink princess or it's not a tricolor. It's got to be a, not a pink princess. Um, I don't know. I can't think. I will put the name Crimson Princess. That's it. That's it. Finally remembered. This plant down here is Hoya Magnifica. Um, I've had this one for a while. I got it at SRQ Hoyas. Um, it's not the easiest to grow plant, but the leaves are very soft. And I mean, it's a cool plant, but you know, it doesn't like to dry out for very long. Uh, that's why it's not a big plant for me. Um, but that's, that's about it. So, um, it's just, it's just kind of cool the way the leaves are very fuzzy. This is a Hoya Obavada. I've had him for a while. Uh, he really doesn't do much of anything. He kind of puts out a leaf once in a while. Sometimes his leaves are not round. They're just weird. But other than that, he's cool. I think he needs to go in a bigger pot because his roots are taking up the whole pot. So in order for me to get him big, he's probably gonna have to go in another pot. This plant right here is a Hoya Lacientha. He has not bloomed for me in a long time. He used to bloom a lot for me, but I don't know what his problem is lately. He's not a pretty plant, but he's got cool blooms, so I keep him around. I grow him in semi-hydro. They don't like to dry out, so it's best to keep them on the wetter side. This is a Hoya. I don't really know what kind it is. It's one that has big blooms, but it is never, I think it's Machili Fi or something. It's a type of Machili Fi. Machili Rye or something like that. Um, it's growing in semi-hydro. I, I, th I think this may be the one, one of them I tried to replant into soil. Oh no, he's over there. Never mind. I just keep this in semi-hydro. He might do better in soil. I don't know. I may try to put him in soil at one point. So maybe he'll bloom, but he hasn't bloomed for me thus far. Okay, and then we got this guy. This is a Hoya Imperialis. Um, he has grown up my Peru, my, uh, Monstera Peru. He has grown up the, uh, pod holder up to the ceiling. And I don't know where he thinks he's going now, but he has nowhere to go. So he's going to be fine. I'm going to have to undo him, untangle him. He has not bloomed for me yet. I got him from Doug Chamberlain on eBay a, a year or two ago, and he was right. Very aggressive plant. Uh, if you have room for him, I recommend him because once you get him blooming, it's really cool. But yeah, this, so this is Hoya Imperialis Varrachi, and this I call it the Doug Chamberlain addition because I have another one over there. It's it, it grows fast, but it's not like this one. 
I think he got this from David Little in Australia. I remember, I think I'm, I think I remember him talking about it. Um, okay, so this is quite a compacta and I think I need to bring him in because he doesn't look very happy. I mean, he looks okay here, but there's, I don't know. Hoyas like to be on the warmer side, so they don't really like 50s at night, and it's been getting in the high 50s in this room. Okay, and I forgot about this one. I, this is a little Hoya. I have no idea what it is, but I keep it around just to see if it'll ever grow for me. That's all it's done. Some Hoyas are like that. They don't do anything. They just sit there. I just leave them alone because sometimes they surprise me. And then down here, I think this is Hoya Glabra. And he's died off except for one leaf and he just kind of sits there. So I just deal with him. So hopefully someday he'll grow. Maybe I'll put him in the grow tent. This one is Hoya Estrella Falls. That is a big plant. So it's, it's a big plant. Very easy grower. Um, put out a really nice leaf this summer. But yeah, he's, he's, he's doing fine. And then we've got this guy. Oh gosh. Hoya. I can't pronounce this. Hoy, Hoy Skilana. Uh, just a little Hoya. Uh, let, puts out tiny little blooms. He hasn't bloomed in a while. He has bloomed for me. And I, I forget what they smell like, but the, it's a cute little Hoya. If you like smaller Hoyas, then this one will be for you. If you like bigger Hoyas, go with this guy because. He will not let you down, especially when he grows to the fit, grows to the ceiling. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here. This is Monstera Peru. Uh, this guy has grown a lot this summer. Very easy to grow plant. I will show you a picture. I will find the picture of him when I first got him and so you can see how much he's grown. Okay, and then we've got, this is Hoya, this is a Hoya Makilrai. Um, he tried to grow to the fan, so he's, he's happy when it's hot. He likes hot weather. Uh, he's probably not very happy right now because it's not hot. Um, so he's, there's, most of the Hoyas are gonna soon be coming in because they like it hot. Okay, and then up here we've got, um, this is Philodendron, um, that's, that guy's trying to photobomb. This guy is, um, I don't know what he is, I forget. Um, I'll, I'll figure out what he is and I will put the name in the corner. Um, this, oh, whoops. This is one of my Florida Beauty Philodendron Fuller. I think I showed him to you before. He's moved around since then because I my table. So, yep, so you've already seen him. This is a pothos. Oh, I forget which one he is. But he's not happy, so I don't know what's going on with him. I'm going to replant him and see if he does a little bit better. Um, I think maybe I'm giving him too much sun. Oh gosh, what is it? Is it the Rio? I think it might be the Pothos Rio from Gabriella Plants. 
Uh, this is an Ivy. I got this from Steve Leaves. I think he is upset because he doesn't like the cold either. But he's doing okay. So I made a um, trellis for him. And he's hopefully going to climb it. And then this plant right here is one of my favorite. This is... Oh... Is it Anthurium mag crystallinium, crystallinum magnificum, mag magnificum? I'll put the name on the thing. He's actually growing a new leaf. I just replanted him. He was in a really small pot. And then up here we have a Hoya Lacanosa Splash. He's been growing like crazy this summer. He really likes it out here when it's hot. Okay, now we over here we have a Pilia Peppermoides. That's the first one I ever got, and he's not a happy one. I don't know when I first got these plants, these Pilia, they they grew like crazy for me, but they they don't like me anymore, so I mean, I'm not going to hold it against them. So, but I keep them around because I like them. Okay, this guy is a philodendron neon. When I got him, he was sickly. So, I put him in a glass jar with some sphagnum moss and he's finally coming around i mean it's taken a long time but he's finally coming around uh there's a pickle plant in there he's big and he's growing in a glass thing i don't know what to do for him he's kind of leaning over and but he's he's fine that is a compacta that I put in one of my pots that I threw on the pottery wheel and I forgot to water it or it got too much sun. I think it got too much sun. And then this is a peperomia. I think it's a parallel. Um, I will put the name. He's doing well. And then this is a whale fin. I can't grow well fins they do not do anything he I tried putting them in the south window doesn't do anything I have multiple whale fins they don't grow for me so I don't know I, I, I would really like to have one of those cool flat whale fins and that get big but they just don't seem to grow for me I don't think I can grow any Sansa varia I think I don't water them enough this is a red begonia I forget where I got this from. I don't know if I got it from Steve's leaves, but it probably needs watered. It's kind of droopy. This is a Madagascar. No. Okay, Jewel, and he's needing water, but he's a cool plant. Succulent, a euphorbia. He's a euphorbia. Uh, I guess the seeds they shoot out and they'll go in other plants and stuff but he's really easy to care for he does need water he usually doesn't droop like that but as soon as i water him he'll perk up and then we've got this little guy which is an angel vine uh i've let him dry out a little bit too many times but he's still alive which is good And then here is my Anthurium clarinervium, one of them that I have. Um, he is blooming, so I'm hoping he will put out some seeds for me this year. So I'm going to probably put him in the grow tent once I get it cleaned out so those seeds will grow. But he's real pretty. He's got some real pretty leaves. 
this is a um, Anthurium crystal, I think it's a crystallinum uh, red leaf that I got from NSE Tropical. He is putting out a, another leaf, so that's good. That's just a Hoya that I talked about in my last video, the UT006. And then this is uh, Pothos and Joy. This guy died back at first, but he seems to be doing okay. I think he likes a lot of light and he does not like to dry out. So if you have one of these, don't let them dry out. Okay, so here we got, this is a cast iron plant, a variegated, very big. He was battling some kind of bug. I don't know what, if it was white fly or something. But I've been spraying him constantly, but he just doesn't mind. He doesn't mind if people get to water him. He's easy to care for and he's very big. I got him at a local nursery. This is a Monstera Albo Borsigiana. Um, I used to have a big plant of this and I cut it up into little plants. And these guys are doing really well. Um, the variegation is great. This is a spider plant. Everybody knows that. Um, this is a Sigonium. I don't know what type. I guess probably splatters. Something. Something splatters. And then this is a begonia. I think this is snow caps. I got this from Steve Leaves. This Syngonium I got from a local nursery. Um, this, sorry, I get dark. This is a type of Dracaena. I don't know exactly what it is. I thought it was a Reflexa. I don't think it is. But it doesn't care what you do. You forget to water it. Whatever. It doesn't care. Um, this is my Monstera Thai Constellation. This guy, when it came to me, it actually had rotted roots. I got it from the plant people. Um, it's actually putting out a leaf, but it survived. I was worried it wouldn't make it, so I bought another one. So I have two Thai Constellations, and this guy's doing great. And we've got another... Uh, Monstera Albo Borsigiana, which was a cutting from the other one that I had. He's doing great. He's getting really big. This is a Philodendron Pink Princess. He is doing wonderful. Uh, this is a... What is this? Um... It's a philodendron postanagum. I think that's what it's called. Beautiful leaf. These are easy to grow. Anybody can grow them. Um, this is my other imperialis. My Hoya imperialis. I don't know why this is limp. Oh, I think the, the leaf broke. But this is aggressive. But... He's not as aggressive as the Doug, the one I got from Doug Chamberlain. This is a, it's, is that Philodendron Melanochrysum Varicosum hybrid? This guy grows great. I'm going to put him in soil and see how he does. But he's got beautiful leaves. They should be bigger. I think growing them in sphagnum probably keeps the leaves smaller. This is a Philodendron Gloriosum round form, or wide form. I got it from NSC Tropicals. So he's doing okay. Um, I think he's putting out a new one. Uh, Enid said this one was hard to, it took a while to get this guy. She said it was the hardest one to get to grow. 
Okay, and then we've got um, a top VGI, um, Anthurium VGI. Uh, this is the wide form. I got this from NSD Tropicals. He is still growing in sphagnum. I don't know if I'm going to replant him. There's a succulent back there uh, that's a bunny ears. I got it off eBay. This is a uh, philodendron melanochrysum. He, I just transfer him to dirt. I'm hoping the dirt will be okay. His leaf still looks good. Um, it's just, they don't like to get too dry. This is a Monstera Stanley, no, Silta Pecana. I made him a moss pole. And then there's my Stanley Anna sitting there. He's moving around. This is a Philodendron Billeti. I just got him. He's putting out a new leaf. I'm hoping he'll grow really well. He may eventually end up in the grow tent. This guy, I've already showed him to you. I forget what he is. This is a... I was thinking of it the other day and now I can't think of it. But I will put uh, the name on the screen. This is a dumb cane. I don't know what kind, but his leaf has gotten really small, but he's alive. So there's another uh, Monstera. Forsigiana. There's my um, oh Alacasia Frydeck. He's only got one leaf, but there's another one coming, so I'm waiting. They're hard to keep the spider mites off. There is a Hoya Carey. He's about four feet tall. I got him from Smith & Hawken, which was a retail store that had orchids plants, but he's a slow grower, but he's easy. There's um, a string of dolphins back there. He's doing great. I got him online somewhere. There is a bridal veil. I got that from the plant hall. It was a very large plant. Likes water, doesn't like to dry out. Um, there's a Hoya Callistophylla. I've had, I, I think I got that one from Thailand. I think it came from Thailand, very slow grower. This is a Hoya lipstick plant. Um, this guy grew a lot. Uh, and this is my last one. This is for part two. This is one of my favorite plants here, um, Hoya, um, gosh, uh, Hoya, I can't think of the name right now, I can't think of names when I'm, Hoya, come on, oh my gosh, what are you? What are you? You're one of my favorite Hoyas and I can't remember you. The leaves are very thick. This is a very tall Hoya. See, he's trying to grow and his roots are eating all the dirt. So he's probably going to have to go into another pot, a bigger pot. He's just getting too big. He's just so big. But I'll put the name on the screen so you can see. I highly recommend this Hoya. It, it's awesome. So I'll put the name out. And look at that leaf. Holy crap. That's the biggest one I've seen on him. 